January marks the beginning of the year, but it may also mark the end of other things like relationships. This is the month that a lot of couples may start thinking about filing for divorce. So right now, New York City-based divorce attorney and author of the book, The New Rules of Divorce, 12 Secrets to Protecting Your Wealth, Health, and Happiness, Jacqueline Newman is joining me now from New York. Jacqueline, good morning. Good morning. Now, first off, let's start. Why is this the time that a lot of people start to think about divorce? So January is known, as you said earlier, as Divorce Month. And one of the reasons is many people don't want to end the year the same way that they started it. They have New Year's resolutions. They have all sorts of things where they're saying, OK, I'm unhappy in my marriage. I want to change things. And this is one of the things I'm going to do. And so I see a lot of people coming to my office looking for initial consultations just to learn more about divorce. Now, people are thinking about it. I guess what were some of the telltale signs for folks to keep in mind that they think that their marriage is in trouble? So, I mean, there are many signs. And, you know, just because you see one of them, I don't want people to panic that their marriage is over. But very often it's change of communication. I mean, I think that's really one of the core issues is that either people start stop talking, period, and their communication just completely dies. Or they'll start talking about things. They'll either be, you know, they'll be lying. They'll be talking about things like just kind of nervous talking and not really talking about substantive issues, um, very, very high level. And you just see a complete change in communication. And I always say that, you know, when people ask, as they often do, is what causes divorce? I think it's all about communication. And so that's one of your big signs, I think, number one. The other things is, again, people being secretive. Um, all of a sudden, you know, the anger levels just go to a whole new level that you're kind of like, what's going on here? Um, and things like that. And, you know, obviously, if you have people that are starting to play games with finances and anything that just seems so incredibly out of the ordinary that can't be justified is really worth a uh, conversation to figure out what's going on. Now, Jacqueline, COVID has affected pretty much all aspects of life. And in your line of work as a divorce attorney, you hear from a lot of people and hear what's going on in a lot of relationships. How are you seeing that COVID has affected people's relationships? So it has not been easy um, in any way whatsoever. And I think what happened with COVID is a lot of relationships that may have been on the edge, I think COVID just pushed them right over. Uh, you know, obviously it's been going on for a long time. And when it started back in March of 2020 and I had people come to my office and say, you know, I can't do this, you know, get me out of here. I'd say, you know, relax, let's calm down a little bit and take a few minutes. You can't take this unprecedented but I thought at the time was going to be a blip on the radar, ended up not being as much of a blip as I had hoped. Um, I said, you know, let's let's just see how this works out and, and don't take the fact that this is such an incredibly stressful time and let read into that as the future of your marriage. However, time has passed and I have many people that have now called me back up and said I waited and now I really want to you know, move forward. And so we are. And so you're seeing a lot more people moving forward because of what's gone on during COVID, seeing people in the stressful situations. Obviously, you know, living in close quarters doesn't work for all marriages. And so it's been a very stressful time and it's kept our office very, very busy. Mm. Well, certainly stressful indeed. Jacqueline, thanks so much for your help and your advice. We do appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. All right, take care. And right now we are back talking about these frigid temperatures. We're